Hey everybody, I am back today with the last page in my Me, Myself, and I new book for 2021. I'm super excited. We're going to do a ton of stamping. Off camera, I took that little llama die and die cut the llama from it. I'm going to start with some white cardstock and I'm going to cut that white cardstock to four by eight. And then I'm going to go ahead and place it into my Misty. We are going to use our Misty today. I have this adorable llama stamp set from Brutus Monroe. I've never used it. I bought it. I love it. I've never used it. We're going to use it today. We're going to use it a lot today. So I'm going to start with my llamas. I want to kind of create my own pattern on this white cardstock using this llama stamp and some icing on the cake ink from Katherine Poehler. We're going to use the door of our Misty today because um, I was unsure. I've never used this stamp set before, so I wasn't sure how it was going to stamp. And it is quite, those llamas are quite intricate. So in case I needed to stamp them twice, I wanted to use the door to my Misty. I decided pretty early on that I wanted the llamas to be kind of random around the page, but I didn't want them upside down. I just was like, no. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp these llamas all over this page using this icing on the cake stamp set. I will leave a lot of this stamping is in as I talk to you a little bit about this project. So this is today's page is about my craft room. I, my craft room is decorated in what I like to call llama chic. So if you, if you uh, follow me other places like Instagram or Facebook, you know that I love llamas. Um, and I have hidden llamas in other parts of my house. <laughs> um, like little understated things. There's, I think there might be a llama in every room of my house. But um, my craft room is very llama. So I took a couple of photos of the decor in my craft room and we're going to scrapbook those photos today. With regard to this project, I loved it. I loved spreading it out over the year and I can think of like 25,000 more prompts that I could totally use for another notebook. So I think I'm going to go ahead and continue this project into next year. I just have to get another um I'm not going to use one of these ring binders. I think I'm just going to use a regular traveler's notebook. So, uh, but you will see all of those kinds of things on a video that will be up January 1st, where I go through, you know, in addition to my 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11 scrapbook pages that I will still be doing for my design team and for my family's album. Um, I will have some mini book projects coming up. I'm going to continue doing the memory planner. You guys know I get bored easily, so we need differences in size and different projects to keep me motivated and creative. That's just how I roll and I've learned to live with it. <laughs> so I have gone ahead and stamped a bunch of llamas. Aren't these llamas adorable? Oh, they're so stinking cute. Um, and then once I have all of my llamas stamped over the entire page, I want to go ahead and add a little filler stamp, right? We want a little like sprinkly bits in there. So I used my Ellie Studio stamp and I went ahead and kind of stamped these cute little uh, star, sparkly star stamp type stamps all over in between my llamas. And then I'm gonna use this aqua green paper to map my photos with, but then I'm also gonna use it to create a little banner piece using one of the little sentiment type um, parts of that stamp sheet. So I th think it says something like glam llamaris or something. <laughs> Glamorous, but with llama in there somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that and then cut it into a banner. Next thing I want to stamp is my title. So these alphabet st stamps I'm using are from Ellie's studio. They're called the Lizzie Alphabet. And I remember that because uh, they are named after Megan Andrews' daughter, Lizzie. And that's where I got that little starburst stamp from. This stamp set is so good, you guys. It is like my current favorite alphabet stamp. Because in addition to all your letters, and the gorgeous like wonky font, you also have all these like little sprinkly stamps. That's what I call them, little sprinkly stamps that you can add places. 
Love, love, love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my title, which is gonna be my Llama Chic Craft Room. I'm gonna kind of make this stamp set or make this title a little wonky. So I'm kind of just kind of fitting the letters in together and I actually run out of a little bit of room, but in the end, we're just gonna fix it. it and I kind of made it look intentional instead of smushy. So once I had my uh, title stamped, I'm just going in with more of those little sparkly stamps that were on our first page. And I can just <laughs> sprinkle them around. Next up, we need our spread to look like a spread. Right now it looks a little disjointed, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this strip of white cardstock and I'm gonna stamp three more llamas. Now, I am focusing on where these llamas heads are at. And you'll see why when I get to the end here, but I want to make sure I have nice crisp headshots of the llamas. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with this sparkly stamp set from Ellie Studio and I'm going to, again, put some of those little sparkles by their heads. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and punch circles of my little llama heads with the sparkly stamps. So cute, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, stamp and punch all three of these circles, and then I'm gonna give everything some vintage photo distress oxide ink along the edges. Whoops, no, we'll get there. That, that'll be coming, but first we're gonna mat our photos <laughs> with this minty green pattern paper. So I went with a color scheme that is like minty greens and teals with some chocolate chocolate brown. And now I'm coming in with my Distress Oxide ink with Vintage Photo and I'm gonna go ahead and just ink everything up. And now it's time to take all of those stamped pieces and just ink them up and pop them into different parts of my spread. Um, because I stamped all those llamas on that white cardstock, I don't need much in the way of embellishments of any kind. And then over here, I can just use those circles to fill in a couple spots, but that brings that pattern that's on the left into the right and makes everything look balanced and cohesive. And now we have something that looks like a spread, um, two pages instead of two disjointed Traveler's Notebook pages. And all I'm gonna do now is kind of line up this, these pages into my book and my Me, Myself and I 2021 book is finished. Whoop, I did it. I love this project. And since I know that I have so many more prompts in my head that I wanna kind of maybe document, I am gonna go ahead and do it again next year. Here are all of the close-ups. I hope you have a fabulous day. I'm doing pretty good. I'm hanging in there with the everyday video for December. I've only missed two days, so go me. Have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.